Today's the day. I went to the Oddities and Curiosities Expo with my best friend and decided I would try to make a vlog. I did my best to remember to get clips of getting ready. But I don't really wear a lot of makeup and I already had my outfit planned. So it only took me about 20 minutes and I was ready to go. My best friend's mom drove us all to the expo and with good conversation it didn't seem like it took that long. We took a few pictures and it was time to go in. I'd never been to a club or convention where they actually stamped your wrist, so that was new. We got in there pretty early, so there was hardly any crowds. I was super excited to be there, and I completely forgot to film anything else while we shopped. I did take pictures when I bought something from Wicked Stained Glass Designs. I got these really cool bird skull earrings, but I don't have my ears pierced, so I'll have to pick up some adapters. I grabbed these off of Amazon when I got home. The other thing that I'd really wanted was some actual skulls, and I almost immediately saw some bird skulls when we arrived. However, when I went back for them, they were already gone. Before I knew it, it was noon, and that meant it was time for the show. I'd never heard of Freak Show Deluxe, but apparently they have a website and pretty frequent shows. Regardless, the hype man seemed pretty energetic and I was excited to see what they had in store. Stage here at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo, only here in Louisville, Kentucky. My friends, I'm your host of the show, your great Robert Tommy Gunn from Freak Show Deluxe. So it was home and only. It really seemed like it was going to be a great show until this. It does not twist. It does not collapse in any way. Is it a real steel fight? Well, yep, it was the classic nail up the nose, and I definitely couldn't watch. I tried to turn around for the first trick and then turn back for the second, but it involved a fox trap, and I knew that I just couldn't watch. So I went to sit down and crochet for a little bit while everyone else enjoyed the show. Then it was time to go home. I had an amazing day with my best friend and her mom, and I really hope that we do it again next year. I looked up the dates for the rest of the Oddities Expo, just in case you were wanting to go too. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Consider subscribing and come back next time for something new.